Morning. Lesson one. You should never start your film with an alarm clock. Total cliche. Psst. It's your line next. Whoa, 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 son. No phones on set. Who the hell are you? Exposition. Now there's a start. Stanley Thomas. Filming Godmother. Filming God... Mother. Please don't ask, it's completely political. My organization has recognized you as a filmmaker of potential and sent me to aid you. Excuse me? It's a bit to explain. This is usually the part where I break into a grand musical number explaining it, but we're currently in some legal trouble because apparently Disney owns every song about someone having a magical friend. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> really? Another one? Hey, can I have my phone back? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Filming godmothers help filmmakers reach their true potential. We've handled many of Hollywood's top earners and not so top earners, but you know, tax write-offs. And you're gonna do this how? By making your life into the perfect film. I will make your life into the best movie you've ever seen. And along the way, you'll learn from the best on how to make the Academy your bitch. Okay, even though I'm clearly still dreaming, I think that I should get ready for school. So would you mind? Oh. Of course. What the hell? Ah, too damn hot! What is happening? Oh. How did I get here? Montage, my dear freshman Ford Coppola. I know your morning routine is quite the modern epic, but we have a schedule to keep. Okay, let, let's pretend that I still don't think that I'm dreaming right now. How do I get rid of you? Simple. When the movie's done and you've become a great director. It may take weeks, months, or years, but I'm with you every step of the way. Dennis says he's here for you, too. Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> That's the spirit! So what, you're just gonna follow me around all day telling me what to do? That's the gist, my aspiring Apatow. Well, I have school, and I have a final project I need to film. So how am I supposed to explain whatever you are? Don't worry. No one else can see me. Because my body is for your eyes only. What even are you anyways? A ghost? A demon? My own subconscious telling me I suck at directing? Maybe all three, but what really matters is that I'm your god now. Oh, please! Your next line is, you know, I, don't I don't need, need direction. direction. <laughs> Look at that! You've already memorized the script. So what you typing? My script, not that it's any of your business, took me five damn tries to write this thing. Oh, I get it. It took weeks to write your dialogue, and to be honest, it's still not perfect. Hey, give that back! Don't touch my shit! Hey, what's that over there? Too clever for my own good. Hey, what time is it? 8.24, why? We gotta go now. Why? Shit, it's Roxanne. What, do you like her or something? Listen, I've been putting up with you all morning, but I'm serious now, we gotta go.
the hell did you just do? There will be no romantic subplots in this film. Been done to death, and be thankful I didn't just have her dump you to stir up the formula. Now come on, class is about to start. The Lumiere apparatus consisted of single camera used for both photographing and projecting at 16 frames per second. They first created films that capture everyday French life. They made Just testing short different color filters. Ignore me. Ignoring and documentaries. Well, would you the quit it? The first motion picture was in fact a sort of documentary called Workers Leaving the Factory. As the title suggests, the brothers recorded the employees of a factory leaving after their shift ended. Since this is a recording of a real life event, it's considered the first documentary as well as the first motion picture. However, their first full-length documentary was about Lion Fire Department Ow. to show off their great invention and their- Hey, film. man, if you don't they stop them! Excuse me, Max? Sorry, Miss G. Well, since you're so vocal, why don't you tell us more about the Lumiere brothers? Uh, yeah, Just give, me, give me one second. Nicely done, Max. It's the first time you didn't jump out of your skin when asked something. Thanks. Um, not much of a film history buff, but I can take some good notes. Well, that's great, Max. Just keep up the good work, and um, maybe next time leave your friend home. How? Can't stay for extra questions. Patricia and I have a date night planned. See you next week. How can she? God damn it! <sighs> Lawsuit didn't go well. Great job with the shoot today. I would say I couldn't have done better myself, but lying isn't one of my many strengths. You know, for someone who can do all sorts of crazy shit, you sure are lazy when it comes to moving equipment. Do I look like a grip to you? Whatever. So from what you saw in my directing today, you think you can go now? I really do appreciate your help in class, but you really are starting to get on my last nerve. In all seriousness, you do have talent. That's why I'm here in the first place. It's other things you lack in. Like what? Just because I'm a little rusty on my film history means you can show up and fuck with me? You know, I'm thriving without you. And I'm gonna be honest, Stanley. I think you're full of it. See, I'm not just here to teach you how to direct. I'm here to show you how to be a great director. This is our cliche resolution moment. No, but it's not too late to change it. Hey, where'd the popcorn go? Ah, 
A continuity error. Good catch. You know, Max, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Wait, where's all the smoke coming from? What the hell, Stanley? <laughs> Have you not seen Casablanca? Turn off the smoke and help me! Come on, Max. Lesson one. Direct. Don't demand. Also, ask nicely. Please, just fucking help me! Can't reach it! Can't have another one die on me. Thank you.